People have some weird habits. Let's go on a weird adventure. Hello and welcome to Capricious Conversations. Thank you for joining us today. We are back here at Peak Conditioning and Fitness with my good friend and personal trainer, Josh. Hi, folks. And today we are going to talk to you, we're not going to talk about exercise, at least I think, anyway, but today we are going to talk about what I'm terming weird proclivities, or those strange habits that you have that uh, everybody else kind of looks at you like, Ugh. <laughs> For instance, this is one of my weird proclivities. I cannot sit with my feet on the floor. Oh. I dislike it. It's very uncomfortable for me. I like to be curled up. Possibly because I'm short and my feet don't reach the floor a lot of times anyway. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you're short? Possibly. It's probably because I'm short. It's just very uncomfortable for me to sit with my feet on the floor. Yeah, working with folks for a living, I'm not usually allowed to make fun of somebody's body type, so I was trying to bite my tongue on that one, but please continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> But so we all have those weird habits, those weird preferences, those weird proclivities. And so we are going to talk about those today because I feel like they need to be addressed so it feels less weird. I have a proclivity for used gum. Really? That's well, still weird. <laughs> except the thing is you don't get a full gum out of it. It's just kind of... Wait, is it your used gum or is it someone else's? Oh, this is my used gum. Oh, okay. That is a very important point though. Yeah. That's not going to go back in the pocket, though, very easily. Oh, well. Because other people's used gum. That's a, that's a whole other level of relationship, I feel like. Yeah, <laughs> and you usually find it underneath a park bench, or we might get lucky and find one right here. This is a semi-public place anyways. But Thank God, no gum. Nope, no, I got nothing. We're good. <sighs> Would you have chewed it if I had found it? I already have a used gum <laughs> in my mouth. Shame, because that would have been funny. How about you, Israel? What's your weird proclivities? Um, I used to eat the whole kiwi. The whole thing. Okay, see, I do the same thing, but with apples. Like, core and all, man. I don't eat the stem, but I eat every other part of the apple. I'm down with the apple core. I continue to eat everything, except for the stem. Although, I will occasionally eat the stem just to prove a point. For instance, if someone has never seen someone eat an entire apple before, yes. I'll eat the core. It's tasty. I like it. I think the... It kind of uh, tastes like cherries a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. They also have a little bit of the uh, vanilla extract flavor mm -hmm. to them. The seeds do, I think. Yeah. But if somebody has never seen it, and I just feel like going for that extra little bit of shock value is worth it, I'll eat the stem <laughs> as well. But let's face it, the stem is hard to chew on and stuff, so it usually goes it's out. It's fibrous. It's not yeah. a... But I, I can't... You know, I did the kiwi thing for a while, and the skin just makes my throat close up. It's bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I eat kiwi skin and all, man. But I eat a lot of fruits whole. So, yeah. Oranges? And you don't, no. <laughs> I don't know. Clementines. The rind is nice on the clementine. Clementine, clementines, you can eat the rind, yeah. Zesty. On oranges, it's a little harder to get through, and it feels a little bit like furniture polish. But your teeth are very polishy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, in a lot of countries around the world, people eat the whole fruit. I think it's kind of wasteful in America that we don't. Just throwing that out there. Another weird proclivity that I know you and or rather, I share. Not throwing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Another weird one that I know you and I share is specificity in our t shirt drawer organization. Yes. Yes. So, like, it has to be. You cannot just stack the t shirts, people. Oh, no. No, no. They have to be folded squarely. Yes. And then you have to put, like, you fold them and then you stack them up in a row so that you can see the edge of all the t-shirts so you know which t-shirt you're getting. Right, the, uh, the first step is to fold it into a proper square so mm -hmm. that when you, say for instance, if this end here on my fingers is the, the end of the neck, when you put it like that, it presents a clean appearance at the front. But once that's been done, your t-shirt drawer just turns into a file folder. Exactly. It's pretty amazing. V-necks on the left from light to dark, mm -hmm. uh, you know, printed t-shirts. In the middle, from light to dark, solids, <laughs> from light to dark, whites. It's really nice. No, it's true. Well, and I also oh have gosh. occasionally, I have done um, different, so like the stiffer fabrics go over towards the left. Okay. And then it gets to the softer fabrics on towards the right. What's and I'm guessing by your giggling that you don't organize your t-shirt. They're pretty much on the ground. Well. The old pile method. <laughs> lest you think I'm too organized. Pretty much my t-shirts the only part of my clothes that's organized. But you, I mean, okay, did you learn that in the Marines or did you just do that? 
I learned to fold them square in the Marines. That is the proper way to fold a shirt. And if you can't do it like that, I'm sorry, you're doing it wrong. Um, with the exception of the department store clerk that knows that and it's folded, little trick, to save time, it makes sense, it's still presentable. But personally, you need to fold them into a square. However, um, the actual file folder concept. Give over that by yourself? I saw that in a blog online. Oh, and I was okay. like, life hack. <laughs> there done. you go. I don't know how I came up with that. It might have been online. I just like things organized. I do the same thing actually with my hanging clothes. So all the blues, greens, you know, it goes together and it goes in order of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. So that the colors like flow into each other. I just like things organized. That is nice. You got one more for us? I'm trying to think. I can't really think of anything. All right, and then I'll wrap us up. Okay. One of my weirdest preferences, and probably like, I would say weirdest pleasures, is, and you guys would have no idea about this because it's kind of a girl thing, but when you go into a public loo early enough in the morning that the seats are still up from having been cleaned the night before, and you can just rest with perfect confidence that it's a clean toilet. See, now you guys would have no idea about that because your toilet seats are always up. Do you mean to tell me that you take the virgin clean of the toilet bowl with the seat still up and sit on the bowl with the no, seat no, still up? No, no, you put the seat down, but you just know that the toilet seat that you are sitting on is clean. Because otherwise... I was about to you call don't. you perverse. <laughs> no. There is something wrong with that thinking. You put the toilet seat down, obviously. I see. But you know that the toilet seat is clean. <laughs> what your weird proclivities are. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video with all your friends. Let's go on a weird adventure.